Inside the trial tower monitor room, the examiners were puzzled on how to judge Lin's abilities because he killed the monster instantly. Ning Xuanfeng, one of the main examiners, walked into the room. He had heard about Lin's exploits and he wanted to see him in action on a screen a video of Lin killing the monster in one hit blade. But it wasn't enough to satisfy Chu and Feng's curiosity, and he asked the examiners to increase the trial difficulty for Lin to legendary. One of the examiner was concerned, feeling that it would be unfair to Lin. Chu and Feng told the examiner that it was fine since Lin was able to one shot the monster, and if Lin is able to defeat the legendary difficulty, then he himself would give him 1,000 points, on top of the 100 he is already going to receive. Inside the trial, Lin was prompted to enter the second exam and kill the wolf beastman mage. Lin accepted and instantly after the countdown ended, he used Soul Blaze ending the fight. It was another instant kill. The examiners were shocked. Lin's abilities were on the level of a legendary class. With this, Xuan Feng was satisfied with Lin's abilities, and he concluded that the first rounds of the exams wouldn't be enough to get a full gauge on Lin's power. He asked the examiners to move on to the second rounds of the exams. It was then announced to the students that the first round of the exams was over, and out of 10,632 people, only 5,220 of them passed. The results were posted, Lin was in first place, a girl named Zhuomei was in second, Zia was third, and Wang Zihao the son of the dynasty guild leader was fourth. Zia looked over the rankings, she expected Lin to get first place, what she didn't expect was for him to clap the boss in point one second, but she was still motivated to continue. However Zihao on the other hand was furious, he couldn't believe that he didn't make it into the top three, he was convinced that Lin cheated. It was then announced to the students that the second round of the trial was beginning and that they could choose the difficulty, but a warning was given out to them explaining that the second trial was dangerous, so if it gets too dangerous the student could shout forfeit to end their exams. The second trial was structured like a dungeon and the students could choose from normal difficulty, nightmare difficulty, and hell difficulty. From this Lin concluded that the second trial would likely be a competition to see which student could kill the most monsters in 30 minutes. Zihao, a level 16 rage warrior, is excited to prove that he wasn't a crybaby and that he was stronger than Lin. Keep telling yourself that, darling. Zia knew that her profession elemental mage wasn't suited for close combat or one versus one situation, but she should be able to kill a large group of enemies. Inside the trial tower monitoring room, the examiners pulled up the information of the top four students. Even though they all looked promising, the examiners couldn't help but focus their attention on Lin. Lin knew that for most students, the second exam would be difficult, but for him, it would be light work. He chose the hell difficulty and entered the second exam. Inside a room, the principals from the different schools gathered. They were all feeling envious of Principal Lu for having two students rank in the top three. Inside the trial, a level 13 wolf beast man warrior spawned, and after looking at their stats, Lin became very disappointed that the monsters were so weak. However, he expected this since the examiners didn't want the students to die. He summoned two skeleton warriors and ordered them to attack. The skeleton warriors attacked the wolf beast man warrior, killing them the second they spawned in. It was too easy for Lin. Inside the trial tower monitoring room, the examiners were speechless. Lin's profession had completely surpassed their expectations. And while the other students were exerting their energy, Lin had a picnic while two of his skeleton warriors spawned the wolf beastman warriors. 25 minutes later, it was announced that the second exam was over, and over half of the 5,000 students forfeited. Ziha was exhausted after killing 50 wolf beastman warriors and he was excited to check the rankings expecting to be first place. But to his surprise, the rankings hadn't changed and he was still in fourth place. He couldn't believe it. A monster spawned every five seconds inside the trial tower and the maximum points you can earn from the hell difficulty is 1,800 points. And Lin got 1,600 points, meaning he killed 300 monsters in 30 minutes. Outside the tower, Principal Lu was trying his best to calm the other principals down. However, they were too surprised by how strong Lin was. Inside the tower, Lin was prompted to choose a difficulty for a boss level monster. And like the chat, he was each chose the hell difficulty. Ah, shit! Here you go again! Lin was teleported to the boss room, and a level 15 wolf beastman captain was spawned. However, the monster stat couldn't compare to the elite monsters in Zai High Mines. Further disappointing Lin, he understood that the higher-up wouldn't release a hell difficulty monster on students, but this was too much. 
He questioned if he was really that much stronger than the other students, then summoned his skeleton and ordered them to attack the boss. Inside the other trial, the students were struggling with the boss monster, and they activated their skill. However, Lin's skeleton one-shotted the boss with their raid shot skill. Inside the trial tower monitoring room, the examiners didn't know what to do. They felt like they hadn't seen Lin's real strength at all. One of them suggested that they wait for the fifth round of the exams to see Lin's full power. Lin opened the ranking, seeing that he had over twice the amount of points as the person in second, and that his friend Gao was also doing pretty good on the exams. Then it was announced that the fourth round of the exams was about to begin, and the difficulty had increased greatly so the students were given a chance to forfeit. With their current points, getting into one of the top 100 academies wouldn't be a problem, but no one forfeited, and the rules were explained. On the fourth round of the exams, the students had to survive 10 waves of monster attacks. Each wave had 10 monsters, and the next wave would start even if the previous 10 monsters weren't defeated. The last wave of monsters would be led by a boss, and the students passed by killing all the monsters. Every monster is worth 10 points, and if they cleared all 10 waves, they could get 2,000 points. Inside the trial tower monitoring room, Chu and Feng and some other examiners expected this round of the exams to be a challenge for Lin, however the others were doubtful. The trial began, and Lin concluded that three skeletons warriors would be enough to finish the fourth round, and he summoned one more skeleton warrior from the summoned space. This angered the examiners as they didn't expect Lin to be able to summon another skeleton warrior. Lin was bored, feeling that the exam was boring and less exciting than the Zai High Mines. Lin's bored expression angered the examiners even more, and they decided to observe the other students. Jia was using the skill path of fire and AoE attack to clear the waves. Zihao was cutting through the monsters with his sword. In the waiting area, the students who failed the fourth test were watching Lin in amazement. Gao, who managed to make it to the sixth wave, took this opportunity to educate the other students of Lin's exploits. It was finally the last wave and only the top five students were left. Feng Ziyu had been saving his power for the last two rounds of the tower because they gave the most points. Zihao entered his berserk state for the final wave, and Lin still had a bored expression as his three skeleton warriors easily destroyed the final wave. With this, the fourth rounds of the exam came to an end, and the results were posted. Lin was first, Zhuo Mei was second, Zia was third, Zihao was fourth, and Feng Ziyu was fifth. They were the only students to pass the fourth rounds, and the failed students started wondering if someone could actually beat the fifth round. Zihao was exhausted from his skill, but he continued to act high and mighty. Zia took a deep breath, thinking that a top five ranking would be enough to get her into Zia Jing Academy. Mei's eyes were set on Zia Jing Academy. The examiners could see that some of the top five students were getting complacent, and he announced if they didn't take the fifth round seriously, then they would fail and their chances of entering Zia Jing Academy would be zero. Continuing on, he explained the fifth round of the exams. The top five students will be teleported to a special place, the campaign space. The campaign space will spawn all sorts of monsters. The first wave would have over 100 monsters, and it contains boss-level monsters. The faster they killed the monsters, the faster they would spawn. They warned the students to watch how fast they were killing the monsters, and explained that the campaign space had five different phases. Each phase had a different score, but only the examiners could see the different scores. After the students entered, the examiners would be monitoring their scores. The announcement ended advising the students to use everything they were hiding. Inside the campaign space, Lin could feel the aura of death, and he concluded that the examiners did this to prepare the students for battle. He noticed some level 15 furry beast men and was disappointed that they had no skills and their stats looked low. One of the furry beast men roared calling the others to his location. One of Lin's skeleton warriors attacked the monster but to Lin's surprise the monster didn't die in one hit, like the other monsters did. But two hits was enough. With the monster dead, Lin activated his corpse explosion skill killing the others. Inside the trial tower monitoring room, the examiners were notified that Lin's points increased by 500. Inside the campaign, Lin wanted to wait for the other monsters to arrive and use corpse explosion on the corpses of the monsters he killed. However, after 10 seconds, the corpse started disappearing, so Lin changed up his plan. He summoned more skeletons from the summoned space and ordered them to spread out and attack the leftover monsters. And as the skeleton warriors drew the attention of the monsters, Lin used corpse explosions wiping out the monsters in the area and breaking the object the examiners were using to watch him. Inside the trial tower monitoring room, the examiners were panicking. They couldn't see what Lin was doing. 
but out of nowhere his points increased by 4,500, meaning he already wiped out the first hundred monsters. Xu Enfeng had many questions. What was Lin doing? What kind of broken, plot armor type profession is Necromancer? And what were Lin's limits? Back at the campaign space, Lin was wondering if he needed to wait for more monsters to spawn again. Suddenly he noticed a barrage of fireballs coming his way. He blocked the attack with his skeleton warriors, and he noticed some furry beastmen mages on a cliff who were using the fire rain skill. But instead of being worried, Lin looked excited for the first time during the exams. More monsters had spawned for him to play with, and since they already attacked him, it was his turn. Thanks for watching, and if you enjoyed the video then hit the like button.